Hi everyone. I just wanted to share some of my favorite Latin Mass resources for those of you who are interested in attending a Latin Mass, already attend a Latin Mass, or are just interested in learning more about our beautiful Catholic tradition. I will put links to all of these resources below my video. This first one I use a lot uh, for the mass readings um, in the Old Roman Rite. Um, I subscribe to Magnificat and my husband has a subscription to Abide in the Word, which are both really good resources for the daily mass readings. But if you know anything about the Old Roman calendar, the readings and many times the saints of the day and so forth are different in the Latin Mass. So if you go to this website, it has the propers for today's Mass. And if you scroll down and click on the propers in English, this is what you will get. Um, the readings for the Mass in both Latin and in English. And just to let you know, <laughs> if your eyes are as bad as mine, um, you can click the arrows to um, make the page larger so that you can read it much more easily. Now, I mentioned, I think, that I subscribe to Magnificat, but I was thinking of changing over, once my subscription runs its course, to Benedictus, which is um, very much like the Magnificat, but it is the traditional Catholic uh, version. So it's going to have the saints and the readings from the Latin Mass. It appears to me that the cover, you know, is pretty much the same, uh, much the same format. Excuse me. And I'm anxious to give it a try. And I'm, I'd also like to hear if any of you have already ordered it and what you think of it, you know, in comparison to any other daily mass reading books that you have used in the past. Um, I did want to show you that if you're interested in attending a Latin mass and you don't know where to start, uh, there is a directory, just like for the Novus Ordo Mass, uh, there is masstimes.org, and you can literally find a mass anywhere in the world. Uh, my students I, and I used to have fun playing with masstimes.org to see like where the nearest mass was in Hong Kong or, you know, some remote place, and it was very educational for them because they could see just how blessed they were to have, you know, basically in Louisiana, we've got a Catholic church, you know, every few miles. So you've got a multitude of choices. And it was good for them to see that there are places in the world where people have to travel a great distance to go to Mass. And uh, some people don't have Mass available to them all the time. They have to wait for a priest to come through their village or something like that. Anyway, there is a website that lists, here we go, traditional Latin Mass venues in the United States. And you can put in wherever you live or wherever you're traveling to. And... Um, you can pull up those that are in that area. And I live in Covington, Louisiana, and you can see that the Latin Mass is available at St. Jane de Chantal Church and at Our Lady of Mount Carmel Chapel in Covington. And then I think after that, there um, is St. Patrick's Church in New Orleans, if you want to cross the causeway. And I think Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Kenner also has a Latin Mass, maybe on a Saturday evening or something like that. But if you're traveling and you're looking for a Latin Mass, this can really come in handy. Now, if you are 
interested. Um, several places like, um, this is not a place, this is an institute, of Christ the King um, have traditional Roman calendars that you can purchase online. And uh, they list all of the, the saints that were, uh, what their feast days were prior to, uh, you know, the changes. After Vatican II, they list all of the ember days that I've talked to you about, all the days that we're supposed to fast and abstain and um, so forth. So this is very useful, very good to have. If you are not able to purchase one of these, you can visit this website and you can print out the calendar um, to put on your fridge <laughs> or wherever you keep your calendar um, for the month, calendar for the traditional Roman rite. And lastly, uh, this is a website that I like to use um, when I want to treat myself to a beautiful mantilla or chapel veil. This is called Veils by Lily. Um, they have some very beautiful chapel veils, um, all the way from very simple and, you know, economical to uh, those that are longer and fancier. And, um, you know, you can also pick them up on Amazon, <laughs> believe it or not. Is there anything you cannot buy on Amazon uh, um, for really cheap, you know, if, if your budget is tight? So I, I just wanted to share those things with you. I have not yet purchased a Latin Mass missile. Uh, they're quite expensive. They're upwards of $70, and I'm trying to decide which is the which is the best version to purchase. I, I want to be educated about my purchase before I make such a big purchase. So in the meantime, I have been using uh, this little um, handy guide that can also be purchased through Amazon. And um, it's got the, the mass with the Latin on one side and the English on the other. And some really beautiful prayers that you can say even outside of um, the mass during the week. Now, what this little red book does not have is um, all of the readings for the day. And so that's why I told you you could possibly use that new Benedictus um, missalette kind of thing or the website with the propers for the day. So I hope that this has been interesting or helpful to you. I would love your feedback if you've used any of these um, products or sites and, and your opinion on them. If you enjoyed this video and think that someone could benefit from it, please be sure and like, share, and subscribe if you feel inclined. Let us end with prayer with and for each other. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu, in mulieribus, and benedictus fructus ventris tu Iesu. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis pectoribus, nunt in ora mortis nostre, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Y'all have a fantastic day.